guys, it's me Susie. I apologize, I haven't been on here in a while. I'm kind of in a slump, I guess. You know, I'm feeling just kind of blank. <laughs> I've tried a few times to do a video and it just didn't take, I don't know. Um, but this one, I want to make sure I get, um, get out there to keep a promise that I made to a sister in Christ and a couple others I mentioned I would share their channels. So that's what I want to tell you in this video. There's a couple channels. Um, I deleted a video, my last video, but not, I didn't mean to. I accidentally thought I was clearing it for my history. And when I hit delete, it deleted it from being, from up, it said upload deleted. That's not what I wanted. I'm sorry. And that was the video that I was recommending um, a channel, uh, Shall Prophesy, that he had an awesome message. It was a Holy Spirit anointed message. And um, I mentioned, too, that all his videos are anointed. So if you haven't seen that video from when you watched, if you watched my last video uh, that I deleted, please go look at that video. Watch it. It's anointed. Um, and I'll leave that link in the description box below. And, you know, I apologize to my brother in Christ for accidentally deleting that. And uh, another brother in Christ, which some of you may really enjoy his channel. His name is Shane Caldera. Um, He's a street preacher. I believe he's homeless, actually. Um, but he's really good with um, some powerful messages as well with the Word of God. And he knows it pretty well. Um, and uh, he also was reporting that I was impressed with um, the news that's going on in Israel. So... I just think it's a nice variety to keep sharing other channels that um, should be getting some attention. Um, every now and then I'm going to do that, okay, because there's other channels out there too besides our regular ones that we're all used to. So every now and then it's nice to be getting um, a fresh new look at another channel. So those little ones out there that nobody sees much of, you might enjoy. So I'm going to leave them in the link below. Now, the purpose of this, the main purpose of this video is to help our sister in Christ, Kim Mosley, and her husband, Alex Mosley. And you've already heard that maybe she's, from her videos, that she's asking for help. And since I said I was going to ask for help, and I haven't done it yet for like a week, I've been kind of really stressed out over an issue I'm dealing with. Um, like I said, I couldn't get a video right. I'm not even, I know I want to share the gospel. That's what I always do, right? So I'm like, oh, the devil's tell me, oh, I got videos out there. They'll get to them. No, I'm not going to shut up. I'm going to keep it going. So um, I could just use a little prayer for some encouragement, some cheering up, because I've been getting a little oppressed from that darn devil. But I'm okay most of the time. just comes and goes. I know we're all going through it. And actually, that's the other thing I wanted to suggest, too. I'll get back to you, Kim. One second. Kim, Kim Mosley, I love you dearly. I hope this message does you some justice here. Um, but um, I, I see that a lot of us are probably feeling what I'm feeling as well. Uh, the, the spirit of heaviness, the... Um, the knowing that we're witnessing people out there that we can see are clearly on their way to hell and they don't care and they're mocking the truth and they're doing just like it, like the Bible said they would be doing right before the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. That just as in the days of Noah and the days of uh, Lot, they'd be eating and drinking and marrying and, you know, giving in marriage, partying, living it up. Like there's no tomorrow, live for today. And, and, and it hurts our spirit. It grieves us inside because that's the Holy Spirit. That's Jesus living in us who died to save these people who are rejecting him. So we're watching the spirit of rejection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's killing us inside, right? I mean, of course, not literally. He who lives within us is greater than he who is of the world. But that he who um, is of the world needs to see the truth in Jesus Christ so they can come out of the world because they will surely see their death to eternal damnation if they don't, if they don't come out of their evil ways and call on Jesus and become righteous in God's eyes. And that's what our purpose here is. That's why we're still here to shine the light in this darkness, even though we're feeling heavy. Like, you know what? I tell you, I'm feeling it. I, I really got to knock it off. <laughs> but um, I'm, most, of, most of the time I'm not, you know, like when I'm busy doing my, my part-time job, 
I'm in a good good mood and you know the spirit of God is with me still he's always with me I know that but when I slow down and I'm able to just kind of observe how evil the world is oh come Lord Jesus is all I can say come Lord Jesus let's get out of here already but our work is not done yet obviously there's many 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 out there that we're calling Jesus to come <laughs> the reason we want to get out of here is because of what we're seeing and it's some of them still left to be saved so oh, we just have to have faith okay keep your faith strong in Jesus and we will keep keep looking up and supporting each other and you know iron sharpens iron right so we got to stick together and uh, keep spreading the word and telling others to repent and call on Jesus as long as we're here until Jesus comes. And um, so again, Sister, Kister, Sister Kim Mosley and her husband Alex have um, requested if, they, if anybody can to please help them. You know, they wouldn't be asking if they didn't sincerely need it. Kim's not like that. You can see that in her videos. She's got a wonderful channel and a sincere heart. And she is asking um, anyone who can to help them pay these co-pays and these deductibles on all these uh, tests and these um, surgeries and things that are going on. You know, Alex has been, I believe it's a diagnosis, official diagnosis that he has cancer in his arm. And they really don't want, they're trying to avoid having it amputated. So, and I know she's one of many people out there who need help. I know so many people are struggling financially. But Jesus said, you have not because you ask not. He says, ask, and I will give it to you, that your joy may be full. So, Kim is asking. She's asking the Lord Jesus Christ for help through the born-again believers, through the body of Christ. Here we are. If you have something to give, just give. We're not going to go broke over helping someone who is broke, you know? The, the, the doctor visits can make you go broke. You know, still got bills to pay. You still got food to put on the table. You still got to put gas in the car. There's needs that have to, everyday needs that are hard to keep up with, let alone when you add all these thousands of dollars on out of your budget that, that don't exist, that you have to have done, or you're gonna, or Alex could lose his arm. Come on. So if that were you, put yourself in their shoes. Would you want help too? I'm sure you would. I know I would. It's very hard to humble yourself and ask though. I'm sure that wasn't easy for Kim and for Alex to have to come on YouTube and ask for help. So, um, yeah, I felt that pain when she did that a couple weeks ago. And she just recently asked again, you guys, doesn't it tell you something? They really need help. Told me I better hurry up and get my video done to ask for help for her too. So she asked, and I'm asking as well, because some of you have not seen her video yet, maybe to know that she's asking again. So I'll leave the information below. Um, with a link to reach Kim and and uh, help support their needs right now. Okay, Remember, she's asked for help for so many people as well. And um, we all will do what we can. And trust me, I totally get it. I don't have a lot to give, but I'll give what I can. So if you have a little, just give a little, if you can. And if you have much, give as much as you can. That, that won't hurt you. And boy, you, you know, you won't regret it when we help a brother or sister in Christ. It feels good inside, right? And let's rejoice with her and give all glory to God. He provides all this money, right, that we have. And when we don't have it, we keep trusting him because that's what it's all about. We go through a test of faith. Well, they're going through a test of faith. So let's stand the test with them and, and help strengthen their faith and show them that uh, Jesus will answer their prayers and we will be the vessels that he will use. Some of us can give more than others. And of course, if you have absolutely no spare money at all, you know, even a couple dollars, no, no amount is too small. But if you don't even have that right now, because I know it's hard, then just pray for her and her husband, the whole family. You know, that's a struggle for the whole family when someone's going through cancer treatments. And, you know, and Kim too, but they both have doctor visits and surgeries going on at the same time. And she's the one that's, you know, taking care of everybody in that household. And I know, again, this is a story that's going on in many households out there. So you have not because you ask not, right? So when you need help, you have to ask. And, you know, somebody out there may be able to help you. And this time, we're going to try and help our sister Kim. Okay, you guys? So I love you all in Jesus' name. Please um, stay strong in the Lord. We walk by faith, not by sight. We know Jesus is coming soon. So lift up your heads. And look up and know that your redemption draws nigh. 
You can't deny the times that we're living in. Jesus is coming really soon. So let's occupy till he comes. Let's help each other. God bless you all in Jesus' name.